it's me, Fat Diva ATL. Today, guys, guess what I'm making? My famous soul rolls. Now, I know everybody has made egg rolls with collard greens and all that good stuff and macaroni cheese stuffed in it and whatever you want to put in it. That's fine. But I am the originator of the soul roll. And I have a receipt to back it up because guess what? I was the, what does it say? The collard green eat more greens culture fest festival um metro atlanta 2013 y'all i was the queen and i won two years in a row so i am the originator of this recipe now i know everybody said they can do it but guess what i was the originator because i used to do these on my um my sister to sister catering here in atlanta georgia and I was doing this before everybody was blowing them up on YouTube and all that good stuff. It's okay, but I know mine's are good too. So I'm going to show you how to make them. You like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. And please share these videos, guys. We're trying to get, once we get to 600, we already at 600, guys, which I thank y'all so much. I know that some people are doing big things at 1,000 subscribers. We just made 600, so thank you so much for rocking with us because we're trying to do what we do. We love hanging out and sharing mother and daughter time together, and this is what our channel is all about. We're not about the gossip and about what's who doing this and what's the newest this. We don't care. We are about just family and sharing love with one another. So please, guys, make sure you like, comment, and share this video. Okay, ingredients. So what I did was, I, I already had greens already cooked, right? And I had a half a bag of cabbage. I had two of greens, okay? But what I put in my greens were, just like my collard green did, I used black pepper, salt, the uh, caramel onion butter seasoning, good brand. I use powdered ginger, parsley, powdered chicken flavor. I use the collard green seasoning. You can get this from Food Depot if you live here in Atlanta, Georgia. And some garlic powder. You can use some onion powder if you like, whatever. Now, what I did was I cooked these greens until they got tender, added all that stuff to it, let them cook until they got tender, and it was about a bag of greens, this size of bag of greens. I actually used fresh greens. Now you can use uh, frozen greens, but it was about one quart, I guess it's a quart bag or gallon bag. I wanna say this is a gallon bag, okay? Gallon bag of greens, let them cook down. When they started cooking, I added one package of the season blend. They come frozen. I'm never gonna cut up an onion or celery ever. I told you guys, this is my go-to brand. Season blend. Then I added about, I got about six cloves of garlic, chopped them up, threw it in the pot, let it cook all together. Now, everything has been seasoned, ready to go. What I'm gonna do now, and what I did was, um, I took three smoked turkey breasts, turkey legs, I should say, turkey legs, and cooked them down till they fell apart. Took the bones out and these little, little cartilage, I guess you wanna call it, and put them, take them out. So this is what you should end up with, three turkey legs, smoked turkey legs. Just cook them till they fall apart. Now what I'm gonna do is add my collard green and cabbage mixture to that, okay? Everything is cooked, okay? So you got a good bit of mixture if you use fresh greens. So now what I'm doing is mixing everything up, make sure everything is mixed, and you and what you think about when you make these soul rolls is all about the collard greens and the flavor so if you don't flavor your greens they're not gonna turn out good they might be okay but they ain't gonna be good so what I do at the end is I'll add soy sauce maybe three three packets of soy sauce to it um, I can use the bottle but guess what you know how you have extra leftover soy sauce from the Chinese place? Why not use them? 
And that's what I do. I save them for my soul rolls. So I'll put three at first. I'll do five total, but I'll start with three just to see the seasoning. Everything else should be good. All it needs is the soy sauce, okay? So right now, all I'm doing is adding all this together. Make sure the meat is um, evenly combined with your greens and your cabbage. Like I said, everything is ready to go, okay? All we're doing is mixing it, and we're going to taste these greens. I'm going to taste these greens. When we come back, if they're good, we're going to start rolling them, okay? So I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, guys, so we're back. We're about to get ready to roll. So what I do is I buy these. They say vegan, but you can just get one that says egg roll uh, wrapper or spring rolls, whatever you want to use. But I would use this brand, and um, they come fresh in the produce department. So what you're going to do, guys, is you're going to take a little bit of the mixture. Now, you might need to squeeze some of it out. If it's not, make sure your greens are all the juice is squeezed because you don't want the, the thing to be wet. So if, if you feel that your batter, your greens are too wet, make sure you squeeze some of the water off. Most of, no, squeeze all the water off. You don't want them to be wet, okay? I'm gonna put some coleslaw mix on top, okay? I'm gonna put coleslaw mix on top. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring everything to you, right? Wrap this way, wrap around, tuck, tuck. They might tear, they might not, I don't know. It all depends on how you roll them. But I'm gonna put some water on the edge and just wrap them, just like that. Make another one. Make it like in a triangle, get you some mix. Make sure you got the, the meat with it. Uh -oh. And you got your coleslaw. You're gonna tuck, tuck, tuck. Okay? Get you some water, have a bowl of water on the side. Wet that. Make sure you tighten it. Okay? Because it's very tender. They will tear on you. Some people roll it different ways. I mean, this is the only way I know how to roll it. But I'll get some more, like that. Get you some more coleslaw. The big, just cut them in half like that. Tuck, tuck. Got any, if it's too much, just, you know, let it come out like that up to the side. They will tear now. But when they tear, what I do is I'll dumb a wrapper them sometimes. I'll take another one because I don't want to waste the wrapper. So what I do is if it tears on me, and that's because I think my greens are a little bit too wet. They didn't really have time to dry. Like, you know, after you cook them and let them just like sit, I get them so I can hurry up and do the video. But please make sure your greens are drained really well. So I just double wrapped it. So, it, so now it looks better. Now when you double wrap, just make sure you fry it a little longer because it's on two wrappers, okay? So what I'm gonna do is finish doing all these is when I come back, we're gonna be frying these soul rolls. Okay guys, so now you see me with my famous rusty, dusty, cast iron skillet I done had probably 10 years. You know, you don't you do not do anything with it other than wiping it out and re-grease it up real good so it'll stay seasoned, as they say. So what we gonna do now we got all our egg rolls wrapped. Now, with that mix, guys, I had a half a batch left, so I'm gonna actually gonna freeze it for my next time I wanna make some more soul rolls. So this made, that pack made 20 soul rolls. It used to be 24, so they, done, they think they slid. They done changed the package, price still the same, but gave us less uh, um, wraps. So yeah, this made 20 soul rolls. So I have another batch in the freezer so when it's time to make some more, just thaw it out. Make sure you get all the water out of it from the, you know, being frozen. And then get you some fresh cabbage, roll them, and go at it. So we're gonna go ahead and put these in. Don't overcrowd your pan. They are gonna cook fast. I got them on medium heat. 
Some might brush open because uh, you know, stuff them together. Uh oh. You don't see. That's enough right now. Let those fry up. I'm going to turn down just a little bit. Because don't forget, everything is done. All we're doing is browning the shell, making sure the shell is done. You might have some spillage, because I think that one's going to bust out. But don't touch them. Let them get hard on one side, and then turn them over. See how they start getting brown? They're brown quick. So you just got to flip them. Just keep flipping them. The ones that bust, give them a time to just be careful. They're real delicate. They ain't gonna be perfect all the time, but do the best you can. I done already flipped them twice, so um, let them cook. Just make sure your fire is not too hot, but not too cold either, because you want them to fry quick, but not soak up too much grease. I got a pan lined with some paper towels, and what I'm doing is just keep on flipping them. You know, until you know they're done. They, all you're doing is getting the outside of the egg roll cooked. You just keep turning them. Don't go, don't be doing nothing. Get on Insta, uh, in, you know, uh, TV. You need to be right here watching them. Because they can burn up quick. Like these are almost done. These two right here. And the ones that kind of like burst up in the size, it's okay. You can still eat them. I'll let these cook a little longer because uh, the skin is going to be brown. Probably another two more minutes and these will be coming out. Like I said, just keep turning them. And while that cooking, guys, um, we're going to get this batch out and then we're going to cook them all up and I'm going to show you how to make a good sauce to go with these uh, so rolls. So we'll be right back, okay? Guys, so we're back. I'm going to show you how to make the sauce I use. I use Goya product. It's a mango jam. I use half of the container of it and then a whole bottle of uh, sweet and sour sauce. Any brand is good. The whole bottle and half of this. And then I use one half stick of butter. And I just let it simmer for about 10 minutes. Once that's done, we ready to go, y'all. So next time I come back, we are gonna be eating some soul rolls. Here we go. Okay, guys, we're back. And here goes the soul rolls. Let me tell you guys, this will change your life, okay? You thought those collard green dip? Mm -mm. These soul rolls is what's happening. Look how nice and meaty they are, guys. They are delicious. Um, like I said, I use my own collard greens and season them up the way I want to or the way you want to season. But once you um, cook them, you can't go back and reseason them. So you gotta make sure that's the key. Make sure your greens are nice, you know, nice and seasoned. Make sure you drain them really well, really, really well, dry. And then add your, um, what did I did? I added the bag of the seasoned blend, parsley. Um, I added green onions. I added um, the salt, the pepper, the onion, caramelized seasoning. I added um, ginger powder. I add um, a little sugar, you know, goes a long ways with your greens, always do that. A um, little hot sauce, and then I added the um, soy sauce packets, okay? Make sure everything's tasting good. And then when, once everything is cooked, then you're gonna drain it. Then you're gonna um, add some uh, raw um, cabbage from your bag. And then the other bag, the other half is gonna be what you're gonna use to roll your soul rolls with. But you see me use the egg roll wrappers. I had a little mix, a little coleslaw, wet the ends, roll them. Then you're gonna deep fry them. Once you deep fry them, um, they're gonna be wonderful. And then you made that mango sauce. The mango sauce was nothing but sweet sour sauce with butter and the gua uh, gu guava, I mean the Goya, Goya, um, the Goya mango jam. That's the mango jam. But you can use whatever sauce you like, but I love that. It just has a good flavor. So guys, now we're gonna try. So now I have a little sauce on the side, it's kind of warm. 
So we're going to try these soul rolls and let's see what they working with. Because don't forget, I was the queen in 2013. Don't get it twisted. Look it up. It's in history here in Atlanta, Georgia at the, I think it's the uh, African American Museum downtown. I am the collard green queen. You will see me with my little collard green uh, uh, crown on and everything. The very first here in Atlanta, Georgia. So we're going to try. When I tell y'all, they are delicious. Better than any egg roll you ever want to try. Like I said, the whole key of this is make sure your greens are cooked. They're tender. But y'all, these are so delicious. Um, I guess I'm going to eat all of them. I'm not saving nobody none. They on their own. So guys, thank you so much for watching our videos supporting us like i said we are at 600 plus subscribers right now we're trying to get to a thousand guys listen please you know support us we love what we do um like i said atl fat diva and fat stands for food adventure and travel okay and it's all about the food with us okay so guys thank you so much um make sure you like comment and subscribe to our channel and share our videos okay guys please share 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 like i said have a great 2024 if i didn't say that already happy new year to everybody and make this make this year super as they say make it one of the best years you ever experienced because i am because i'm gonna live my best life thanks i thank you guys again bye bye